Hey friends and happy Easter. Today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It is Easter Sunday and I'm so excited to be here. The weather is amazing. We're gonna get ourselves a nice Easter dinner and then hopefully we're gonna meet the Easter Bunny. So, let's go do this. And for Easter Sunday, I have to say, the crowds do not look bad at all. I'm really, really excited for today. Rumor has it, Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny will be hopping out near the castle, uh, just different times throughout the day, no set schedule. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit in the hub and people watch a little bit and just hopefully catch a sighting. Oh. Mr. Easter Bunny is hiding eggs. I ran into some friends as I was waiting for Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. The theme park kid, look at that. Oh, look at that, she's right behind you. Fancy. <laughs> That's amazing. And your hair matches his jacket. I was doing that on purpose. Did you do that on purpose? Aww, <laughs> that would have been clever. <laughs> oh, that's going to be really hard to find. Oh. oh she's hunting, she's looking for the eggs. No way you can hide. She still looks beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> That was so awesome. Mr. Easter Bunny actually hid those flowers for her. She got them and she found all the eggs and now they're heading out, they're leaving. Bye friends. That was so awesome, totally worth the wait. I waited about like 30, 40 minutes. I think they're coming out every hour and I must have gotten there uh, just a couple minutes shy before the last time they were out. But totally worth the wait. It was awesome seeing them play their little games and hide the Easter eggs. Very interactive, very fun. Now we're gonna head on over into Liberty Square. We have dining reservations at the Liberty Tree Tavern, but that's not for about an hour, so we might be able to get on a ride, depending on the wait times. Not sure why, but certain holidays, I always feel the need to ride like specific rides. Like, so for today, I'm really in the mood to ride Peter Pan or It's a Small World, so we're gonna check the wait times and see what they're like. Hopefully we can squeeze it in before our reservation. That's the plan. Well, I don't know about It's a Small World. They got the extended queue over here. So I'm probably thinking 45 minutes maybe, maybe an hour. And uh, Peter Pan isn't looking any better. In fact, it seems very, very crowded over here. I mean, even though the line looks long, it says 35 minutes. So I think we're gonna do it. Peter Pan's flight. Just under 40 minutes, so right on time, and plenty of time to spare. Oh, here we go. Oh, fancy. 
message. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and away we go. That was great. I love dark rides and it was cool to get on there and just a little bit of a wait. Like usually Peter Pan is definitely, I feel like a lot longer of a wait. So under 40 minutes and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that all day long. Because it was such a short wait on Peter Pan, we are still early for our reservation. So maybe we'll try to do another uh, attraction. Maybe somewhere we can sit down and get some AC. Another Mickey Cavalcade is making its way down. Usually this music makes me really want to like dance a little bit, but I did uh, pull like a muscle on my back recently, so that's why I didn't post many vlogs this week. So I don't know if I should, but like I'm fighting the urge to, you know. <laughs> There's no way I could be able to move like Mickey is right now. Look at that. He's got some dance moves, so does Donald. The Country Bear Jamboree is one of my personal favorites and probably not a long wait time so maybe we'll uh, hit that up before we go on and eat at the Liberty Tree Tavern. But first I'm going to cut through the Frontier Trading Post, see if they got any Easter things actually for sale. They do have a limited edition Happy Easter 2021, look at that, very fancy. They do have a lot of cool magnets for your car, including WandaVision. We are an unusual couple, and then down here they have Westview. They also have a WandaVision like iPhone case. They're getting fancy with these, but I really want this one. My other ride is a monorail. I remember they used to make Happy Easter Magic Bands. I mean, unless I'm like imagining that, if you had a Happy Easter Magic Band or just an Easter Magic Band, let me know in the comments because I could have swore I've seen them in the past before. I'm sure they're not doing a lot of stuff like that nowadays, but uh, yeah, now I'm starting to question myself. Look at that, is that Chippendale up there? Oh, fancy. We were about to go in the Country Bear Jamboree and I thought Big Al was coming out, but it's Chippendale. And they got the, uh, their fancy uh, western like, cowboy outfits on. 10 minutes to the next show, so we better get in. Gotta go through the old turnstile here and find ourselves a green dot. I like this one right over here. I love the Country Bear Jamboree. And if you folks have never seen it before, well, let me tell you, you're in for a great show. I am so excited. <laughs> Thank you. 
Definitely the classiest show at Walt Disney World. I love it. I love Big Al and I love Liver Lips McGraw. It's such a great show. But now I think it's almost time we can check in. I'm so excited. I am full. I seem to be eating at the Liberty Tree Tavern every holiday. I'm pretty sure I eat here on Christmas. Oh, Thanksgiving I didn't eat here. I was going to, but I ended up going to the Swan and Dolphin. But I really love the Liberty Tree Tavern and it's a great holiday restaurant. It's all you care to enjoy, family style. And it comes with turkey, pot roast, pork, a bunch of seasoned vegetables, stuffing, mashed potatoes, all the good stuff. Look how cool it is in here. Look at that fireplace. Well, it's not real, but it's so nice. Such a nice themed waiting area. I think I'll have a seat maybe over here. Uh, there is a colonial woman churning butter on the wing of the plane. Oh, I think they're gonna call my name soon. I'm the only one waiting on the inside. I feel that's a little odd. Nathan? That's me! Hey! <laughs> oh. I always seem to sit at this ch table. Is this where they put all the single party? Usually, yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I always sit at this table. That is the White House blueprint. Oh really? Yeah. Like the, as the actual blueprints of the White House? Yeah. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to check that out. Thank you. <laughs> All the rooms are named after different presidents, so we're in the Jefferson room. I've dined here before a lot of times. This is like the same table I've always sit at. I always sit at the table. And uh, I like it in here, but this room up here, I think this is the Washington room. That's the one I like the most. I like the way it looks. As I was getting seated, my uh, host was telling me all of these different facts about Thomas Jefferson, including the fact that he built the White House, and right over there is the White House blueprint. So maybe we'll take a look at them uh, if nobody's sitting at that table afterwards. Everything's all you care to enjoy and it's family style, so you don't need to order anything. They're just gonna bring everything out to you, but you do need to order drinks and they've got beer, hard cider, cocktails, and everything like regular soft drinks, coffees, and teas is included. These are extra and oh, they also have a lot of wines. I decided to go with a nice Bud Light. It's a nice hot day today, so a good Bud Light, nice and refreshing would be good. And also, another thing you can do, they do have allergy-friendly and vegetarian options in here, and they had a plant-based meatloaf. So I asked them if I could try that, so they're gonna add that to my, my meal already, and that way I can have like something else to try. I'm excited. I never had a plant-based meatloaf before. I'm sure I'll like it, though. Before they bring on the meats, they bring out the salads and the bread. Look at these little rolls. <laughs> Aren't they little cute rolls? And then we got a side of butter right there. I'm excited. This meal is very, very delicious and you definitely feel stuffed afterwards. I like they only give you two rolls because, you know, it's all you care to eat. So I'm not going to get full on the bread. You know, I fall victim sometimes with really good bread. I end up eating a lot of it. And then when the meats and the main entree come out, I can't eat as much as that. So two's good. It's good. And look what has arrived. We've got pot roast. We've got pork, mushroom gravy, turkey, mashed potatoes, green beans. And then there's a little stuffing under there too. Also, some mac and cheese, and then a lot more gravy. That's the way, need like a gravy boat. I think I'm gonna jump right into some turkey and stuffing. That's the plan right here. A little cut here, okay, yep. oh, a little bit of stuffing, and a little bit of gravy. Whoa. That stuffing is so good. I love it. But you know what else? I don't know if the gravy on the pork, so it looks like, because this is a mushroom gravy, I think that's different than this gravy. I'm pretty positive. So now I want to try that pork. 
but my absolute favorite is the pot roast and the mashed potatoes. Look at this. Oh yeah. This is the way. And here is the plant-based meatloaf. Look at that, fancy, right? I'm excited to try this because it looks good. You're gonna get my live reaction here on this. Uh, it smells like meatloaf. It, it, it tastes like a veggie burger or veggie patty. I don't know much about the meatloaf side of things. I mean, I, I can taste a little onion and a little breadcrumbs, but I mean, it's not bad, it's good. I just, I don't know, a little confused. The reason I wanted to get this is because earlier I ran into my friends, uh, the theme park kid, and she's vegetarian, so I wanted to see like uh, what options they had because she said she never ate here before, and there you have it. I mean, it looks pretty good and it tastes pretty good, so at least she knows she can come here and get something. Because it is family style and it's all you can eat, you can get more things that you want, it's just individual. So I think I'm gonna get more pot roast stuffing and mashed potatoes. Those are my favorites. I love the pot roast here. It is so delicious. I think the gravy is the thing that does it the most for me. I really like the gravy. And look, they bring out like a little tiny plate. Isn't that so cute? It's like a little tiny baby plate. It's a hidden Mickey. I better be careful, I'm gonna spill pot roast all over the table. I probably could have eaten a whole entire other platter, but I gotta save room for dessert, because dessert's included in this, and it's a very good dessert, so you'll see why. The ooey gooey toffee cake. Look at that. Oh, this is delicious. I absolutely love it, and that's why I was saving room, you know? Look at that. Oh, much too good. This table got up, so I wanted to come over and take a look at the blueprints for the White House. Look at that. That is pretty spectacular, don't you say? I think that is so cool. Now I'm all done and I'm all full, so we're gonna go back out to the park and try to digest. <laughs> That's the best thing you can do. It's so hard sometimes because you get so much food at some of these restaurants and you're in the middle of a theme park and you're kind of like, oh. I remember vacation mode, I would eat a lot. I would take a little bit, go on a nice slow ride and then big Thunder Mountain. But not now, no, not now. <laughs> This is the restaurant we just dined at, and look how quiet it is back here. We got a nice little picnic table over there. No loud noises, even the music's not even loud back here. This is like the good spot to come and relax. I can't believe there's nobody over here. You can just relax and listen to the music. Really relaxing. Also, what do you guys think of all the beautiful castle upgrades? I'm really liking the way it looks from this angle. This is beautiful. Before I go, I want to show you guys the temporary confectionery location. I don't know where I can enter. Do you enter here? Yes, oh, right in this way. Fancy. Thank you. Look at it. It's nice in here. This is the temporary confectionery. <laughs> it's so funny. Ooh, I wonder if this still blows out cold, cold air. This vent right here is the best AC vent in Walt Disney World. Let's see. Oh yeah, can you feel that? If you can hear it in the mic, you know the air is pushing hard. Just a couple of days ago, I posted the last day inside the confectionery and the chapeau, the hat shop. The hat shop they said isn't coming back. They're actually gonna expand the confectionery and I was here for the last day. And now they have a sign right outside showing where to go and the temporary location there. Says the confectionery is cooking up something new. Sweets and treats now showing at Main Street Cinema. I like that. I can definitely feel the meat sweats coming on here. 
but I'm full and that was a great Easter dinner. I'm so happy I came out here today. It was great to see the Easter Bunny and Mrs. Easter Bunny, Ride Peter Pan, uh, what else, Old Country Bear Jamboree, and then of course uh, Liberty Tree Tavern. It was all amazing. And uh, yeah, just blessed that I have this great life that I can come to the parks like I do. And uh, just thankful. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Happy Easter, everybody. But I had to stop because look at this monorail riding into the sunset. Beautiful, isn't it? On an Easter Sunday.